friends, I'm Mrs. Erbach, and this is Charlie. And if you have been here before, you probably see some clues that tell you that today is a special day. What sort of clues do you see around me that tell you that today's a special day? I see you've noticed some things. Yes, we have some flowers in the vase over there. And Charlie and I have both dressed up and put on our party clothes. And there's a special sign on the wall, isn't there? And it says, Happy Birthday, Charlie. Because today is Charlie's birthday. Happy birthday, Charlie. Charlie was feeling a little down this morning because this birthday's a little different than other birthdays he's had. What are some things that you like to do to celebrate your birthday usually? Well, those sound like fun things. Charlie usually likes to have a birthday party. And sometimes he's in the mood for a really big party with lots of friends. And sometimes he's in the mood for just a small party and maybe just one friend will come over. But you know what's kind of sad about today? Today, not even one friend can come over for Charlie's birthday. So he was feeling a little bummed. But you know what? It's still his birthday and we can make it special even when friends can't come and be here in person. So Charlie and I went to the garden and we cut the most beautiful flowers and put them in a vase to make things pretty. And then we worked together on the birthday sign and we had a lot of fun doing that. And of course we dressed up because why not? It's a birthday, it's a special day. And we're turning it into a fun day even though it looks a little different than other birthdays. Right, Charlie? We also put a very special quilt up on the wall for Charlie's birthday. This quilt is called Scraps of Friendship. Now, I have a question for you. Think of something that you like to do, like a hobby. Now, do you know other people who enjoy that hobby as well? It's fun to have friends who like the same things you do, right? They don't always have to, but if you like to draw, it's fun to have friends who also draw. Or if you like to play a sport or you like to dance, it's fun to have friends who like to do those things too, right? Well, quilters are the same way. They like to have some friends who also like to quilt. So the quilter who made that quilt asked all her friends if they could send her their scraps. And the scraps are the little pieces of fabric that are left over after they've made a quilt. And sometimes they just go in the trash. But this quilter said, I think I could make a quilt out of all those tiny little pieces. So that's what she did and she called it Scraps of Friendship. And we thought that was a perfect quilt for today on a day when Charlie was wishing he could have friends around him and he can't have any friends over to have a quilt that reminds him that he is surrounded by friends. I'm gonna put you in your spot so we can talk about the letter of the day. I'm going to write the letter of the day and if you figure out what it is, go ahead and say it out loud. Two straight lines with a bar across the middle. If you said H, you are right. The letter of the day is H. Let's write a little H. There, big H, little H. And the sound that H makes is which is kind of funny because it's not much of a sound, is it? It's just breath coming out, but that's the sound H makes. <sighs> if you were going to make an H with your body, how might you do that? Go ahead and try that right now. Now say the sound that it makes while you make the shape. <sighs> well done. Give yourself a pat on the back. I'm going to put the H on the sign behind me. Might cover up some of the birthday sign, but that's okay.
It's time to play I Spy. I spy with my little eyes something that begins with the letter H. And it's brown and some people ride it and it gallops and it has a mane and four legs. Can you see what it is? Horse. Good job, horse. Horse begins with H. I spy with my little eye, something that begins with H. It's a shape. It's kind of small on here. Can you see it? Heart. Heart begins with H. And there was another one I wanted to show. I spy with my little eye, something that begins with H. And this is a type of dwelling, meaning a place somebody might live. Do you see it? House. House begins with H. Good job. Will you sing your ABCs with me? When you get to H, why don't you raise your arms or stand up? So listen for when H comes into the song. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Well, Charlie got to choose today's story, of course, because it's his birthday, and he chose his favorite book. Can you guess what his favorite book is? I'll give you a hint. I'll give you two hints. It has an H in the title and it's about a dog. Harry the Dirty Dog. Oh, that's a good story. So Charlie, I'm gonna put you in my lap while I read, okay? Then you can see the pictures. Here we go. Harry the Dirty Dog by Jean Zion and pictures by Margaret Bloy Graham. Harry was a white dog with black spots who liked everything except getting a bath. So one day when he heard the water running in the tub, he took the scrubbing brush and buried it in the backyard. Then he ran away from home. Oh dear. He played where they were fixing the street and got very dirty. He played at the railroad and got even dirtier. He played tag with the other dogs and became dirtier still. Can you find Harry in here? I think maybe he's right there. Talk about dirty. He slid down a coal chute and got the dirtiest of all. In fact, he changed from a white dog with black spots to a black dog with white spots. Can you see that? That's pretty dirty. Although there were many other things to do, Harry began to wonder if his family thought that he had really run away. He felt tired and hungry too. So without stopping on the way, he ran back home. I'm glad he went home. When Harry got to his house, he crawled through the fence and sat looking at the back door. One of the family looked out and said, there's a strange dog in the backyard. By the way, has anyone seen Harry? Huh, they were looking right at him and they didn't know. When Harry heard this, he tried very hard to show them he was Harry. He started to do all his old clever tricks. He flip-flopped and he flop-flipped. He rolled over and played dead. Charlie can do all those tricks. He danced and he sang. He did those tricks over and over again, but everyone shook their heads and said, oh no, it couldn't be Harry. Why did they think it wasn't Harry? Right. He didn't look like Harry anymore because he was so dirty. 
Harry gave up and walked slowly toward the gate, but suddenly he stopped. He ran to the corner of the garden and started to dig furiously. Soon he jumped away from the hole, barking short, happy barks. How might a short, happy bark sound? Go ahead and make one right now, unless somebody in the house is sleeping and then you shouldn't. But go ahead, what's a short, happy bark? You could do it quietly if you need to. Oh, that sounds happy. <laughs> He'd found the scrubbing brush and carrying it in his mouth, he ran into the house. Up the stairs he dashed with the family following close behind. He jumped into the bathtub and sat up begging with the scrubbing brush in his mouth, a trick he certainly had never done before. Why would he never have done that trick before? Right, he does not like getting a bath. This little doggy wants a bath, cried the little girl, and her father said, why don't you and your brother give him one? Harry's bath was the soapiest one he'd ever had. It worked like magic. As soon as the children started to scrub, they began shouting, Mommy, Daddy, look, look, come quick. It's Harry, it's Harry, it's Harry, they said. Harry wagged his tail and was very, very happy. His family combed and brushed him lovingly, and he became once again a white dog with black spots. It was wonderful to be home. After dinner, Harry fell asleep in his favorite place, happily dreaming of how much fun it had been getting dirty. He slept so soundly, he didn't even feel the scrubbing brush he'd hidden under his pillow. Can you find the scrubbing brush in the picture? Yeah. The end. Did you enjoy that, Charlie? I know you did. That's your favorite story. Well, I have a special treat today for Charlie. It's a surprise that I know he'll like, and I think you'll like it too. I have a special friend named Blake, who is a wonderful musician. And Blake is going to join us today. No, he can't come in person, but he's going to call in and he's going to play some of his instruments while we sing a song. I'm going to put on some headphones because Blake's going to be calling me through my computer and I'll just hear him better if I'm wearing headphones. Oh, I think I hear some ringing. Let's answer the phone for Blake. Blake, hi. Hi, how are you? <laughs> I'm good, it's really good to see you. Nice seeing you guys as well. I'm excited to be here. Hey Blake, this is Charlie and I know I've told you about Charlie before and I've told Charlie lots about you and he's super excited to meet you. Awesome, yeah. It's nice being here. <laughs> hey Blake, I was telling Charlie what a talented musician you are and Charlie had a good question. He said, hey, what's a musician? So maybe you could tell us what a musician is. Yeah, so a musician is someone who plays a musical instrument or someone who sings any of the above. So what instruments do you play? I play a few instruments that I've grown up with throughout my life. One of those is guitar. It has six strings and each string has a different note. So the first string is E, the next string is A, then D, G, B, and E. And then you can make chords on guitar and you can have a melody go on top of that. So let's do C for Charlie. Let's do that. And that's a C chord. So That's very cool. Yeah. What other instruments do you play, Blake? So I play a lot of rhythm instruments and one of those is bass guitar. A bass guitar you need to plug into something called an amp, which makes the sound really loud. And sometimes it can hurt your ears. <laughs> but the <laughs> bass guitar has four strings, and the first string is E, and then the next one is A, D, and G. And there's many different ways to play bass, so we can play C note, like that, and then there's different techniques that make it sound similar to a drum set. It sounds really complicated. Does it take a long time to learn to play these instruments? 
it all depends on dedication and practice. So if you at home have an instrument and you keep practicing, after a while you'll feel more and more comfortable. So you had mentioned bass was a rhythm instrument. Do you play any other rhythm instruments? Yes, I do. The favorite instrument of mine is drums. Oh. I am very into playing drums and drums are my favorite thing in the world. And why don't we go take a look? Oh, that sounds great. Okay, I can hear in my headphones, Blake's ready. Here we go. One, two, three. You ain't nothing but a hound dog. Crying all the time. You ain't nothing but a hound dog. Crying all the time. Well, you ain't never caught a rabbit. You ain't no friend of mine. They said you was high class. Well, that was his lie. You know, they said you was. High class, well that was just life. Well, you ain't never caught a rabbit, you ain't no friend of mine. Well, that was awesome, Blake. Thank you guys, I appreciate it. Hey, thank you so much, that was really fun. And as you know, Hound Dog is Charlie's favorite song, so that was really cool. Hey, Charlie, I noticed something on Blake's guitar that you showed us earlier. You know what I'm referring to, Blake? The Elvis sticker. Yeah, do you see that, Charlie? Elvis yeah. Presley is who made Hound Dog a famous song, so that's pretty cool that you already had him on your guitar. Yeah. Well, Blake, thank you so much for coming by today. As I told you, this was kind of a difficult birthday for Charlie because he can't be with his friends and do some of the things he's used to doing, and having you come and accompany me and play his favorite song just made it really extra special, so thank you. Yeah, and thank you guys for having me. I really appreciate it. Our pleasure. Bye-bye. Cool. Bye. Well, that was super fun, wasn't it? So I'll let you in on a secret. I've always wanted to play the drums, but I don't have a drum set. But you know, I bet I have a bucket somewhere. And even if I don't have a bucket, I could probably figure something else out. If you can play in a bucket, you can play in all kinds of stuff, right? So I might just have to practice a little and see if maybe I could become a drummer. It'd be fun to try anyway, right? I have another surprise for Charlie. Some of his friends wanted to wish him happy birthday. And again, they can't come, right? We can't see them in person, but they're gonna call. Charlie, you're gonna get to talk to your friends. Hello. Hi, Charlie. Hi, Mrs. Erbach. Hi, Charlie. Hi, Mrs. Erbach. Hi, Elle. Hi, Sheepy. Oh, I'm so excited you called, and so is Charlie. Thank you. Oh, of course. Yeah, we wanted to wish Charlie a happy birthday. Yeah, even if we couldn't be there in person with everything going on. Well, this makes it extra special to just have you guys here even through the, through the computer, so thank you. Aw. Uh, can we sing to you, Charlie? <gasps> He'd love that. And I bet some of you would like to sing happy birthday to Charlie too. So if you want to join Elle and Sheepy in singing happy birthday, go ahead. All right, whenever you're ready. Okay, one, two, three. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to dear Charlie. Happy birthday to you. Yay! We love you, Charlie. Once this is over, we should all get together and have a play date. That sounds like a great idea. Thank you guys so much for calling. Have a good day. Of course. Bye. Bye. That was really fun. It's always fun to hear from people we love on our birthday, isn't it? That made it really special.
Well, thank you for being here today. You helped make Charlie's birthday very special. I hope as you go around the rest of your day, you listen for things that start with and it might be something you see, like a heart, or it might be something you feel. Like right now, Charlie and I are feeling pretty happy. And I hope you are happy too. <laughs> All right, hold out your arm and wrap it around your body and hold out your other arm and wrap it around the other way and give yourselves a great big squeeze because you are special and you are loved. Bye-bye.